Ever wondered how hexagonal nuts are produced? With this amazing set of techniques, You know those sports bottles you enjoy using during your workout? This is how they're produced on a mass scale. There are many things we take for granted, including the skill, machinery, and craftsmanship that goes into making the soles of your shoes. This is the process of producing water safety shoes, a fascinating glimpse into a world we don't often consider. Here's a slice of daily life from India's biggest fully automated bread factory. A Korean noodle factory showing us, well, how to manufacture Korean noodles. We're staying in Korea for a moment with this glimpse into the manufacturing of ball bearings. How would these machines work without the cables that plug them into the mains? And even more importantly, who makes the cables? Well, this place. Everybody's got a wide variety of random screws hanging around the house, but here's a look at a factory's mass screw production process. Seeing those red-hot balls shooting down these chutes is almost like watching a game. Which is ironic because this is a marble factory. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a bamboo-less agarbarti making machine. You thought it was, didn't you? This is how the aloe vera plant is processed in order to be used in cosmetics. Amazing what you can do with a strange green plant.
Wondering how your hoodies and t-shirts begin their lives? Quite often in amazing production lines like this. If you own a Volkswagen, then the chances are that this is where your tires came from. A complicated production process for a seemingly simple product. A fascinating glimpse into how PVC resin tiles, or tiles with a plastic film on the bottom, are produced. This isn't only a fascinating piece of machinery, it would also make a very effective barman. It's hard to define what this is at first, but you're actually watching the process of creating a stainless steel coat rack. When you're this good at your job, you can inspect your credit with all the panache of a Las Vegas croupier. Spools! Spools everywhere! This, ladies and gentlemen, is sewing on an industrial scale. If you're not lucky enough to work with Superman, then having a machine that can bend metal comes in extremely handy. This is an industrial bread factory. That's a place that makes bread on an industrial scale, by the way. There's no such thing as industrial bread. The process of crushing grains into pellet feed. Proving that good machinery is always capable of increasing work efficiency. Are you one of those people who can't crack an egg with shell ending up everywhere? Well, you need one of these amazing machines. Those of you with a sweet tooth might want to brace yourselves, because these delicious looking bricks are actually blocks of chocolate ice cream. Who needs to waste energy closing a box when you've got one of these? This is a seriously quick way to make some seriously large pancakes. How to make toilet paper in a quick and efficient manner. It's important not to get behind when you're manufacturing things for people's behinds. Yes, you guessed it, this is an egg factory. Although perhaps something even more deserving of the phrase egg factory is the chicken who laid them all. If you're one of the increasing number of people who can't stand crocs, then this may be the man and the machine that's responsible. This automatic sugar packing machine is pretty, well, sweet. Those molded plastic containers we use every day have to come from somewhere, right? And this is the process whereby they're created. Mm -hmm. 
If you want a never-ending supply of your favorite snack, then you should be thanking your lucky stars that machines like this exist. When it comes to chocolate factories, even Willy Wonka has nothing on these guys. No, popsicles aren't created when a mommy and daddy popsicle love each other very much. Most of them are born in places like this. Why risk cutting yourself with a knife? If you want to peel fruit efficiently and in bulk, then one of these fabulous contraptions could be the answer. This production line takes care of every step of the fruit production process. Needless to say, this automatic packing machine reduces countless man hours. And think of all the time saved searching the end of the tape. This machine creates the delectable Japanese dessert dorayaki. You can almost taste them, can't you? No, it's not Santa's workshop, but it's close. This is a toy manufacturing facility, where molded plastic toy parts are decorated in substantial workshops outfitted with modern pad printing machines, manual and automated spray booths, not to mention intricate hand-applied paint. You're watching someone expertly fashion a multicolored glass pitcher by hand. Glass blowing is truly mesmerizing to watch, although incredibly difficult to master. One false move and you have to start over. The history of pencils can be traced back to prehistoric times when chalky rocks and charred sticks were used to draw on surfaces as varied as animal hides and cave walls. But those early trailblazers could never have imagined a place like this. This family-owned workshop in Ecuador is trying to meet an order for over 200,000 t-shirts with a workforce of over 30 women. Now, that's an impressive work ethic. Without your lungs, a balloon is pretty useless. But how are those crazy expandable things created in the first place? From quality checks to high temperature cleaning and final inspection, every step taken in this Chinese factory reflects their dedication to producing top-notch scissors. French fries. Contrary to popular belief, they weren't invented in France, but in 17th century Belgium, where locals would fry small fish to enjoy during the winter when the rivers froze over. And now, of course, they're everywhere, being produced by the bucket load, just like this. 
This, ladies and gentlemen, is air-dried ham slicing at its best via the Textor Slicer TS700. This factory somehow manages to produce 125,000 spicy chicken sausages per day. Tires are crucial for vehicle road connection, with different types for varied driving conditions, and this place creates a wide variety. This Chinese leather factory is known for their high-quality signature wallets, and you can see the care and precision that goes into each one. This is how gummy candles are made, so we can only assume it's the same for gummy bears, gummy snakes, and other gummy things. Where does all our tin tuna come from? Places like this, and massive frozen fish like those. This fully automated high-speed bread production system can produce from 600 up to 13,500 loaves per hour, a decent way to earn a crust.
This is how the popular gluttonous sweet pancake Korean bubble hotdog is created. Try not to drool. Okay, You're witnessing the mass production of kitchen utensils with silicone, cookware for every occasion. We've all had a trading card period at some point in our lives, and whether yours had baseball players, Pokemon, or pop stars on them, they all started life in somewhere like this. This is the Wonder Bar ice cream. A lot of them. And this is how they're produced. A packaging line for liquid detergents. But what do they use to clean the machine? These are the machines that make movies even more enjoyable. It's a popcorn production line.
This is the Maple Leaf Pastry Factory in Taiwan, and they sure seem well practiced at making that pastry. tobacco production, from seedling to cigarette. High-quality restaurants need high-quality spoons, and they've most likely come from establishments such as this. Super Alloy Industrial Company Limited is a forged alloy wheel manufacturer in Taiwan, and this is the process by which those specific products come into being. The fascinating process of creating a carbon steel chef cleaver knife. Thank you. 
How are steel cable cages constructed? Step by careful step in a factory like this. The hypnotic and almost beautiful process of creating glass bottles. And from bottles to, well, everything. This is a fully automated glass factory. If you've ever enjoyed a Taiwan fish cake, then you might want to watch this production footage. On the other hand, maybe not. Do you sometimes feel like you're losing your marbles? Well, you might want to stop by here.
Watermelon popsicle, mango popsicle, mung bean popsicle. If you can think of a flavor of popsicle, then this Taiwanese factory can probably make it for you. Where would we be without tree pots? What, you don't have one? Where have you been? Living under a rock? Millions of woks are used to prepare food all across the globe. But who prepares the woks? These are very special bottles, because these bottles are where your whiskey goes.
And now, it's time to shine a light onto the candle making process. Up to 1 million of these are produced here each day. Can you guess what it is yet? Okay, we won't keep you in suspense. It's buttons! A lot of money is spent producing these poker cards, so you can lose a lot of money.
This is the only money-making factory in Japan. Literally. Here we see it producing 500 yen coins. Reach for your nearest bottle of soy sauce because this is the ramen production process at a Korean noodle factory. This factory has been mass producing traditional Korean fish cakes for half a century.
As you can see, rice noodles are made almost as quickly as they're consumed. You're watching the mass production of PYC water tanks because everyone needs a PVC water tank every now and then. How are glass cups produced? You might be surprised. When it comes to dumpling making, this woman has ninja level skills.
You know those moments when you think, what I really need is a good sickle? Well, thank God for places like this. This may be why new shoes always hurt your feet. These are the people you need to thank for every New Year's or 4th of July celebration you've ever attended. Soda bottling. It needs to happen so that the process of soda emptying can begin much later. And now it's time to keep the production machinery of Retrocast Tech well-oiled by clicking subscribe.